Buran was the first space plane to be produced as part of the Soviet Buran program. The Buran orbital vehicle program was developed in response to the U.S. space shuttle program, which in the 1980s raised considerable concerns among the Soviet military and especially Defense Minister Dmitry Ustinov. An authoritative chronicler of the Soviet and later Russian space programs, the academic Boris Chitok, recounts how the program came into being. According to Chitok, after the U.S. developed its space shuttle program, the Soviet military became suspicious that it could be used for military purposes, due to its enormous payload, several times that of previous U.S. launch vehicles. The Soviet government asked the Zimash for an expert opinion. Lieutenant General Yuri Mozhorin recalled that by approximately 1965, when the Soviet Union had the long arm, the Soviets did not expect war and thought it would not happen. As Institute Director, Moz Horan, recalled that for a long time the Institute could not envisage a civilian payload large enough to require a vehicle of that capacity. Both Chitok and Gleb Lozinski suggest that from the beginning, the program was military in nature, however, the exact military capabilities, or intended capabilities, of the Buran program remain classified. Commenting on the discontinuation of the program in his interview to New Scientist, Russian cosmonaut Oleg Kotov confirms their accounts, we had no civilian tasks for Buran and the military ones were no longer needed. Before the Maia was ready, the Myashishev VMT Atlant, a variant on the Soviet Myashishev M4 Molot bomber, fulfilled the same role. Besides describing the first operational Soviet-slash-Russian shuttle orbiter, Buran was also the designation for the entire Soviet space plane project and its orbiters, which were known as Buran-class orbiters. Buran completed one uncrewed space flight in 1988, and was destroyed in 2002 when the hangar it was stored in collapsed. The Buran-class orbiters used the expendable energy rocket, a class of super-heavy lift launch vehicle. The construction of the Buran spacecraft began in 1980, and by 1984 the first full-scale orbiter was rolled out. The Buran spacecraft was made to be launched on the Soviet Union's super-heavy lift vehicle, Energia. The only orbital launch of a Buran-class orbiter, 1K1 occurred at 3 hours and 2 seconds UTC on 15 November 1988 from Baikonur Cosmodrome launch pad. Buran was lifted into space, on an uncrewed mission, by the specially designed energy rocket. The automated launch sequence performed as specified, and the energy rocket lifted the vehicle into a temporary orbit before the orbiter separated as programmed. After boosting itself to a higher orbit and completing two orbits around the Earth, the Odoo engines fired automatically to begin the descent into the atmosphere, return to the launch site, and horizontal landing on a runway. After making an automated approach to Site 251, Buran touched down under its own control at 6.24 and 42 seconds UTC and came to a stop at 6.25 and 24 seconds, 206 minutes after launch. Despite a lateral wind speed of 61.2 km per hour, Buran landed only 3 meters laterally and 10 meters longitudinally from the target mark. It was the first space plane to perform an uncrewed flight, including landing in fully automatic mode. It was later found that Buran had lost only 8 of its 38,000 thermal tiles over the course of its flight. In 1989, it was projected that Buran would have an uncrewed second flight by 1993, with a duration of 15 to 20 days. Although the Buran program was never officially cancelled, the dissolution of the Soviet Union led to funding drying up and this never took place. The mass of Buran is quoted as 62 tons, with a maximum payload of 30 tons, for a total lift-off weight of 105 tons. Unlike the US Space Shuttle, which was propelled by a combination of solid boosters and the orbiter's own liquid propellant engines fueled from a large tank, the Soviet-slash-Russian shuttle system used thrust from each booster's Rode 170 liquid oxygen-slash-kerosene engines, developed by Valent and Glushko, and another four Rode 0120 liquid oxygen amp, liquid hydrogen engines attached to the central block. In June 1989, Buran, carried on the back of the Antonov and 225, took part in the 1989 Paris Air Show at Le Bourget Airport. 
After the first flight of Uber on spacecraft, the program was suspended due to lack of funds and the political situation in the Soviet Union. The two subsequent orbiters, which were due in 1990 and 1992 were never completed. The program was officially terminated on 30 June 1993, by President Boris Yeltsin. At the time of its cancellation, 20 billion rubles had been spent on the Buran program. On 12 May 2002, a hangar roof at Baikonur collapsed because of a structural failure due to poor maintenance. The collapse killed eight workers and destroyed the Buran spacecraft as well as a mock-up of an energy booster rocket. Two Buran-class orbiters, together with an energy and rocket prototype carrier are still stored at the base, according to an article in 2020.